Guys, oh, we're out of breath, but welcome to another episode of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program, and Jebediah has completed his hike to his escape point. Ah, uh, we have arrived at our little lander module, and hopefully everything has gone properly. So we landed 30 kilometers away from Jebediah, so Jebediah was forced to just hoof it over here, but we have indeed arrived at can I extend it from here can I change control I bet you I can yeah I can uh, we've arrived at our little lander module over here so we're gonna be able to get Jebediah back inside I'm gonna turn on the RCS and do that um, we're gonna have to go and dump off hit all the science he's carrying first and then complete some more science here because damn it we have we have a mission we are still Jebediah we're not just running away we're gonna get all the science we can out here of course we're still Jebediah so we're gonna Sort of smack into the things. Okay, up, 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 forward, forward, grab. Um, no, grab. There it is. Board, storing all the science. <sighs> I'm surprised we can't science more of these things. Do we already have, like, Highlands... Highlands material data? When did that happen? Uh, EVA, temperature high. Surface Highlands, Material Highlands, oh, we do. We do have all this stuff. Now, some of these um, some of these devices are actually still have science. My goo and my material don't, but some of these I grabbed orbital stuff. I didn't realize we had already scienced all the Highlands, and we're in the Highlands, which sucks, because Jebediah was actually in the Lowlands, which would have been pretty, uh, pretty good. But yeah, so we've got to, um, I guess the easiest thing to do will just be to drop off from here. Ew. Highland surface sample. That we probably don't have. So we will do that. Just for the sake of argument, let's also grab an EVA report, although I suspect... Yeah, well, okay, we've already got that. Um, and I've transmitted it, which is why it's completely zero. But we are definitely going to plant a goddamn flag over here. Let's actually move a little further away so that we don't explode the flag when we take off. Okay, Jebediah, plant your flag. Woo! Did 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 um, Duna! Duna sucks! No. Uh, get me out of here. Um, screw Duna! There we go, that's what we're gonna call it. Screw Duna, I'm going home. This was in the Highlands. Boom. Okay. Let's collect that last bit of, uh, science -y stuff. Jump! Okay, it was a little preemptive. Grab. Whoa! Alright, smash your head, that's fine. We can do that too. Do, 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 do. And jump. Grab. Alright, this is not working out so well. Jump. Grab. There we are. Don't, don't, don't. Actually, can we climb onto the top from here? No, it's gonna do silly, kind of annoying things. Um. Oh, okay. If I leap off. No, it's still not really doing what I'm looking for. Turn on the RCS. Go. Ladder's less useful than I would like. I guess maybe if I had a ladder on the top there, maybe it would wrap around. I'm not sure. There we go. Take data. Excellent. Got that. And then the atmospheric data over here. Uh, not surface sample. Take that data. Wunderbar. Which actually means we might need to run it again. Um, leap. Grab. Nope. 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 Don't smash the solar panels. That would have been bad. Okay. Let's try that one more time. RCS turn on. And leap and go. Go, 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 go. Yep, 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 Up, 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 up. Oh my god. Instantly goes into Ragdoll. That is so annoying. And we could see through the surface there, which is interesting. Go. Don't Ragdoll the second you touch something. There we go. Actually grab it. Thank you. And board. Dump anything. So we've got a duplicate of something. Okay, we don't have Highland ground, atmospheric pressure, and temperature scan, so we will have to hop out one more time and do the awkward little dance. Um, do that. RCS, go, 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 go. It keeps touching and then it cancels my RCS, which is very annoying. I already have the surface sample, so don't ask for that again. Weep! The Insta Ragdoll is very frustrating. And there we are. And land. Good enough. Take this. Take that. Jump. And... Grab. Board. Okay! 
All right, let's do a, a quick save in case I misclick something on its way up. So we now want to take off. So let's go ahead and retract the ladder, and more importantly, retract the solar panels. We're not charging right now, which is a little annoying, um, but we have lots of power for this. So we are wanna 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 gonna yeah sure English much. We are going to want to get into orbit as cheaply as possible, which means an apoapsis of 50k or more. Well, more than 50k. So, I don't know, 55 or something like that. East is over here-ish, bottom left. So, ow, I just hurt my thing a lot. We're going to use the standard SAS. Just the stability assist to start off with is going to be fine. We're going to take off, and I'm instantly going to roll to about 45 degrees here. It's thin enough that I think we should be okay to do that. Um, I, maybe I'll go up for like a second while we figure out everything we're doing. But um, other than that, hit the gas. Um, oh, we are fully derated. Full, full thrust. Okay, there we go. All right, and then down towards here. Basically, gravity turn, but we can be really aggressive with our gravity turn here. Okay, pull in the landing gear. Let's do some reports, because apparently we can do that. Okay, material study from above the surface is nice. Um, what? I must have something. Oh, I probably have in the ascent module. Probably stopping me from going... Um, beyond terminal velocity. Yeah, that's what's happening. Something in there is doing that, which I guess is still a bit of an issue. Uh, okay, where's my apoapsis? Right over here. Oh, geez. So we can... Why are you doing that to me? Ascent guidance. Turn that off. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, apoapsis is climbing way too much. We are still in the atmosphere, although it's so thin that I don't think it matters much. Um, there we go. Turn that off. Yes, no. Right there. Go away, Abelator. Go away, you. Um, go away, you. You. Keep that on. Okay. All right. A lot of stuff to worry about. So, our apoapsis is going to drop a little bit because we are still in the atmosphere. Um, but other than that, oh, we got tons of Delta V. Circularizing this should be relatively simple. Now, the thing I didn't do is really plan out my approach to the space station. Um, if I circularize here, I'm going to be nice and below it. I'll eventually catch up. We are on opposite sides of Mars, so it's going to take forever in orbit to actually be able to um, circularize, or to, to catch up, unfortunately, to do sort of a Hoffman, or Holman. I keep saying Hoffman, but the Hohmann transfer to the right altitude, but that's okay. Apo is dropping a little bit because we are still atmospheric, but hardly so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's stay pointing prograde, please and thank you. And I'm just going to physics warp up to our apoapsis, which arrives in three minutes here. Okay, we're officially in space. I do like the auto deployment of the solar panels because it stops me from making really stupid mistakes. It is weird that, like, it's not actually connected here. Those heat shields look crazy. So a big part of me wants to do another mission to Duna with this ship, collect more science. We could actually load a scientist on it as well to do the actual landing instead of having Jebediah do it. Um, where are we? One minute away. Okay. So, whoops. Forgot we're not doing physics anymore. So I really don't think it's going to take much of a burn at all. I'm going to try to avoid pushing my Apo too high, and it indeed is not moving. We are pushing it away, so we're putting it up a little bit. There we go. We'll just stop a bit more. Time warp until we're a little... Whoa! We just went past it, but that's okay. We're still just past it. We are going to raise the apple maybe a little more than we want. Okay. We are now properly orbital. We've gotten Jebediah off of Duna. Oh my god. Okay. So now... Uh, what we need to do is redock with the space station. I mean, we can leave Jebdi up here, like, you know, again, forever, but our goal is to dock with the space station. So, um, one of the things, turns out you can do, is if, like, ultimately, our maneuver here will be a prograde, not quite that much, but a prograde that will intersect the orbit of the space station. And then I think what we can do is just sort of grab this around and see if we actually get a rendezvous somewhere, because I think this will constantly push it into the future. Oh, wait. It would help if I had a target. So we're looking for anywhere that the orange markers or the pink markers will start to get close together. Not, not orange close to pink, but orange and orange, pink to pink. Now, 
Now, I don't know if this will actually... I guess this won't actually go far enough in the future, will it? No, because these markers are only, like, the next orbit away. Which is kind of annoying. Now, um, let me get rid of this maneuver completely. This is the parry. So, when we get to the periapsis, what I'll do is I'll do the thing again where I bring this up to be exactly in line with the other orbit and then grow the other side. We don't have that much delta V though for those maneuvers. Okay, we are pro. Give it a little bit of juice. Okay, we're basically in line there. That's a thing. And so on every orbit, we're going to get closer and closer to the mace. So probably the thing to do at this point is actually to fast forward until that happens. It's going to take a long time here. It would take less time if I did this from the tracking station, because I'm limited to how much I can fast forward, because I'm controlling a ship that's relatively low to the ground. But if I went to the tracking station, I could fast forward things a lot faster, because we're not going to close in that fast. But I really don't want to use any delta V to um, adjust my orbit so that we close in any faster. Uh, we're actually a little shy of it over here, so I should make another adjustment at the uh, parry. Although, again, honestly, by doing this, I'm delaying how long it's going to take us to get there. I guess what I could do at this point is we could use the alarm clock. Where's my alarm clock button? Right over here. Because one of its handy features is you can say, uh, when's our closest approach? Ooh. F five orbits out, we're going to be 10 kilometers away. Um, not turbo close, but ain't bad. Um, tell you what. Send an alarm for 10 minutes out from there. And then we can make an adjustment burn to get a little bit closer. Now, hopefully, we'll have enough delta V to arrest our relative speed at that point. That'll be the biggest question mark. Push comes to shove, though. I can always move the space station closer. Because the space station has probe cores, has engines. Oh, man, this fast forward, because I can't go any faster than that because of our height, um, is going to take a while. What are we doing? Times 50? All right. Well, I guess it's not that long. Um, what was I saying? The space station has engines, has probe cores, has fuel. So it could move closer to our ship when it gets there. In fact, we could have our space station match velocity with our ship instead of vice versa or something like that. Um, it could get close enough to like practically dock, and then we can just change to the RCS, change to the, um, the capsule again for RCS. I mean, we still have 250 meters a second of delta V over here, which means we do have some maneuver potential. But depending on the difference in our relative speed, that might prove to be um, that might prove to be a bit more than we have delta V for. But what I'll try to do is freeze our relative position as much as possible here, and then fix it after that. I guess we don't need these markers anymore. Delete waypoint. Delete waypoint. We have flags where all those things are anyway. Okay, you know what? I realize this is a bit of a short episode, but in the interest of uh, time, we're going to put a cut in here, and then next episode I will try to work out this rendezvous, transfer all the science uh, over, fill up the science processing module, and then frankly, I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab all the science that's still there and fly home. Jebediah deserves to go home at this point, so I think that's what we're going to do next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.